good morning children in my last class we have learnt about domestic animals uses of domestic animals and how we have to take care of them now today let us learn about wild animals some animals live in the forest they are called wild animals now some of the animals are here lion elephant tiger zebra deer fox giraffes and monkey these animals are called wild animals do you know children why these animals are called wild animals they live without our help they find food themselves they build houses themselves they look after their young ones themselves because of these these animals are called wild animals some of the wild animals are herbivorous do you know what's the meaning of herbivorous herbivorous means grass eating animals for example Hele elephant giraffe and deer these animals eat grass and leaves some of the wild animals are called carnivorous animals they kill other animals and they eat for example tiger lion and wolf we can see some of the wild animals are in the zoo these animals are very very dangerous so children we should be very very careful with these animals let us move to birds birds are called winged creatures they have two wings one beak and two legs some birds fly so high some birds they hop on the ground duck sparrow peacock hen these are the birds they eat grains and fruits some birds are kept in cage as pets they build nest and they lay eggs also now let us move to insects insects are small creatures they have six legs and four wings some of the insects are cockroach house fly bee grasshopper butterfly butterflies are so beautiful insects some insects are very very dangerous for example house fly house fly breed in garbage they spread disease like cholera mosquitoes also very very dangerous insect they breed in stagnant water do you know the meaning of stagnant children standing water they breed in stagnant water they spread disease like malaria dengue and chikungunya so we have to keep our surroundings clean to avoid these kinds of diseases now let us move to honey bee honey bee is very very useful to us the this honey honey bees suck nectar from the flowers and they collect honey and they give us honey 
this honey is very useful to us we use in medicines now let us move to reptiles snake crocodile lizards chameleon these are the reptiles these crawl on the ground some of the reptiles have no legs some of the reptiles have short legs these reptiles are very very dangerous creatures now let us move to fish water animals fish lives in the water they have gills fins scales and a tail fish use as a food it is very very good for health so every day we have to eat fish now some of the water animals are tortoise crab frog these animals they live in the water as well as on the ground children today we have learned varieties of creatures and the uses of creatures and how they are dangerous as so today's homework is name the two legged and six legged animals